Today I have something a little different for you all. It is a kind of large Norakora clothing haul. So I'm going to start off with this really beautiful lace blouse that I'm wearing right here. It is in a size extra large. So normally I should wear a small. So obviously this is very different sizing than you're perhaps used to. And if you're much larger than me, I don't even think they have like an extra extra large. So this is pretty much the upper limit, I think. Um, it has two buttons at the back of the neck. This also comes in, I think, white with like black lace where the gold is on this one. This is really comfortable to wear. It's not like a scratchy lace or anything. This part is a little bit scratchier, but like the black part is very nice and soft. It's just a pullover, like I said, but it has two buttons at the back of the neck. It's a little loose here, but I think that's better than having it like really tight or anything like that. It has pearls and then also gold beads here at the front. The sleeves fall just perfectly on me, which I am five foot two, so if I'm very much taller, or have longer arms or anything, that might not fit as well, but it would, perhaps it might be more like a three quarter length or something like that, depending on your height. But anyway, I'm very happy with this actually. It's um, the sizing is like I said, off I suppose but other than that I'm very happy with the fit and the look and I think it'll go really pretty with a lot of different things in the fall and winter season. The color combination of this sweater here just screams fall to me. I love all of the colors together. The sweater is a size small, fits me true to size. I would say this is definitely true to size. Very soft and comfortable. It's on the thinner side. You may be able to see that I'm wearing a black bra through here but you could definitely warm it up and thicken it up with wearing like a thermal or a t-shirt or something underneath, um, depending on the weather. But anyway, I find it very soft and comfortable. I'm very happy with this one as well. So next up, we have these gorgeous jeans. I have them in a size medium, and I kind of wish that I'd sized down to an actual size small because they're a little bit big in the waist right here. Now I can probably be remedied by just wearing these with a belt or something like that to cinch it in, but I really like these. I think they are gorgeous. The embroidery actually goes through all the way to the other side, so it's not just like an iron-on or anything like that. I think they're very good quality. I am so thrilled with the height of, I mean, the inseam, too. They're not too tall for me, which is usually the case. These are, I am like a I'm not sure if I can seem, but I am only 5'2", so if that gives you any idea. These have nice pockets on the front and the back, and they actually work, so it's not like sewn up or anything like that. Like I said, I'm just so happy with the quality of these. I think these are definitely a good buy. They have these in all kinds of different colors, I think. And yeah, like I said, these fit me pretty good through here. The waist is the only thing that's a little bit loose. I perhaps would like these better as a high rise as well. I know that's very popular right now. These are, I guess, more like a mid rise, I guess. But like you can see, it's a little more relaxed through the knees and things like that. But I don't know, they're comfortable this way. So actually, probably this is a better size for me to get anyway. So like I said, they have medium. I'm not sure if they have anything larger than a large, but I don't know. I'm still really happy with the fit. So you can kind of judge from your, for yourself from what you see here. 39 inches in the hips. I'm about 39 inches in the hips. About 27, I think, in the waist now. Which the waist doesn't really come much into play because these aren't high-waisted. So, yeah, I just really love these, though. I think they are so gorgeous. And I'm not, like, a jeans person. So when I wear jeans, I like them to be, like, fancier like these. So this is kind of an interesting piece here. It's like a tunic. It's kind of like a dress. Um, it could definitely be a dress if you wore this with like a black skirt or over top of like a plain black dress or something like that. I decided to pair it with these jeans. I'm not sure how well this goes, but I just threw it on with these to show you. This has a few buttons at the back here. I just buttoned the top one up. It feels a little different because it has the seam across the front. So it first feels like a little odd when you're wearing it, but you can get used to it after a while. The cool thing about this is I think you could probably just like whack it off in different shapes or anything like that if you wanted to shorten it or change the shape. It's kind of like asymmetrical all the way around. It's just very interesting and different. And I do think this came in different colors. 
too. I'm not sure, but everything will be linked in the description box, so check it out if you're interested. Next up, we have this very beautiful blue print dress. From the pictures, I was expecting this to be like a thicker fabric. It's actually a thinner fabric, more like a thin polyester. It almost feels like a lining fabric, but it is not really too see-through or anything like that. So I was glad about that. I'm wearing like nothing underneath up here and it is like double layer. So that's fine looks fine and uh this does have pockets in it if you're into that thing that kind of thing um i would probably wear this with a belt or something to give it a little bit of different definition but it does fit perfectly anyway zips all the way up the back all the way up to the top of the neck and it feels very comfortable on and it really does look beautiful the color and the print is beautiful but like i said it's just not as thick as i was expecting so if you keep that in mind then maybe you would like this too Here's another very beautiful blue print dress. This one is also, well that one was in a medium, this one is in a size small and the fit is very nice, pretty much perfect. It has a elasticated, elastic waist here. Um, it's not too tight, it has a lot of give. It has this little tassel string here, it's just for show, it doesn't really go around your waist, but you can, and what I did to tighten this up, since it's very long, I kind of did it around like this and made like a little belt to add an extra definition to this dress. This feels very thin, very flowy, and it has almost like a buttery feel to it. Even though it's thin, it feels more like a lining fabric like I said the other one does. It's not too see-through. I was going to wear it with a slip at first. I thought, eh, it's too see-through. I ended up not wearing a slip because I decided that it was plenty opaque enough after all. I love the peacocks here up at the top. The print is just really beautiful and this is such a gorgeous dress for like spring and summer especially. It just feels really good on which is what I really love about it and this one pretty much looked like the picture is like what I was expecting. I really like this dress. It is in a size small and the fit is like it was made for me. As you can see it fits me perfectly. This has a long zipper that goes all the way up to the top of the back. It has a little bit of elastic in the sleeves right here. The lace feels like very thick and good quality, but it's not like scratchy or anything like that. It's very comfortable. If I could change anything about this dress, it would be to make the lining like down to here. I would rather have the lining longer, but that seems to be a very common thing with dresses like this. So. But anyway, other than that, I am really happy with this dress. It's very comfortable. And out of everything here, out of all the dresses, I think I'm probably happiest with this one. It is a very good basic to wear. It's not like a basic, but a very good staple to have in your wardrobe for spring and summer. I think it is so beautiful, ladylike, sophisticated, and good to wear to lots of different events. Something about this dress absolutely reminds me of like the 1920s flapper era. I think it's like the drop waist effect this has, something like that. It looks so vintage and it looks like a costume. I just think it's really beautiful. Now this one is one that does seem to vary from the photographs online, so keep that in mind. But as long as you see it here on me, you know what you're expecting. Um, the fit through the bust is a little different. The, the um, straps seem to come further over than I would prefer. So you feel like you might have like sort of an accident here. You might want to pin it or like, maybe I'll sew it up a little bit tighter. But yeah, there's like lace right here. And then, yeah, so you need to be careful. But anyway, I just really think this is a gorgeous shade of like gray. I think it was described as purple in line, but it's just such interesting shades of gray, purpley, pinkish, I don't know but definitely something very different from my wardrobe. Like I said, I feel like I'm in a 1920s film or something like that. Oh, this does have a zipper here under the arm that goes down the side here so you can uh, get it on easily, but it does kind of, it's kind of loose. It's not really fitted to the back, to the waist, as you can see. So I just slipped it on over my head. Last but not least, we have this beautiful like princess dress that I'm wearing here. This one has adjustable straps, same as the last one, and it has a zipper at the center of the back this time, kind of like a short zipper, but it is stretchy. Not really stretchy, actually, but it's kind of loose through here, as you can see. The only thing I would change about this is 
it sets a little bit odd here. So I could probably stitch that up myself if I wanted to change it, but it's so beautiful. I don't really know that you really notice it anyway. And perhaps if you have a larger chest, it may fill it out a little better. I don't know. But I think this is such a beautiful romantic dress that feels like a like a fairy tale princess or something. And the back, it is plain. You can see it has this beautiful lace here, and then it does change to the plain like net in the back. It has this really beautifully done in flower here but i don't know it kind of sets a little odd here but it is removable so you can easily just take that off and add like a different belt or something like that if you wanted to oh that is one thing that i forgot this does come with a like a plain beige stretchy belt i'm not sure where i have it right now but yeah that is one thing that this does come with as well and it kind of like has two snaps in the back so that adds a little bit of definition with the waist if you want. The belt was a little bit loose on me, oddly enough, even though that is a size small. But anyway, back to this. It has this beautiful pin, and you can remove that. You can wear it on a hat or different things, so that's kind of nice. I think this is one, like the last one, that seemed to look a little different from the picture online. So like I said, keep that on in mind. Look at the dress here. Look at it um, in the links below. See what you think for yourself, but I do think it is very beautiful. This would be so pretty for like costume or something, like I said. Just very beautiful and it feels very nice on, as does the other one. Pretty much everything here feels really, feels really great on, you know. So that is everything. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite piece out of today's haul. Please subscribe to me and also follow me on Instagram at Libertad Green as well.